All right, six six camera back. Part three of the volcano playthrough. We just fueled up our Maz. I believe this is a yeah. Anyways, we just filled up the D type. Uh, all the way, cisterns fully fueled, and we're going to move to these trucks. Make sure they're topped off, and then we're probably going to move to this road. Um, <clears throat> and then most likely we will move the fuel further down but uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes let's just get up here fuel these trucks and we'll probably move this up to the road and then switch to our C-types our Urals is that some, some weird glitches there in the uh, driver's window strange Oh, and we're off, right? Now, this is easily the, uh, probably the most capable truck in the game. This truck's awesome. I even love the way it looks, man. All the air vents, the... The uh, molded, like, louvers, I guess you would call that, louvering. It's just, <laughs> this truck is just awesome. Um, I'd kind of like to see how big this is. Um, I, mean, I mean, I know it could look up measurements and stuff, but I'd kind of like to see this in real life next to a U.S. Uh, Hemet uh, 8x8 and see how they compare size-wise. Of course, it'd be awesome to see how they compare performance-wise, too. Now, I haven't even jumped. I unlocked these trucks with the UAZ. There it goes. Physics bubble. Uh, unlocked these trucks with the UAZ, but I didn't even jump in them to see what the condition of them is, honestly. Let's see. I'd like to be able to do all of this with the, because everything uses like boxes. It, I think you could just about do the entire, you should be able to do the entire game from a game pad and have toggle buttons to toggle through a uh, local menu, like the winch points or vehicles, you know, hit the change vehicle. Maybe have a, I'm, I'm pointing at my computer and monitor for those of you who can see me. Um, Maybe a button that can toggle up and down on the truck menu, the advanced menu, you know. It would just be nice to be able to play the whole game from a control pad, but that may come. And I know there's some third-party software, I guess, that uh, allows you to do certain things. Oh, so this definitely needs fuel. Does it have any fuel in the cistern? Well, yes, it does. It has 400 liters. Normally, they don't give you fuel. And let's now these both these trucks have highway wheels, so and then, yeah, these are the older T55s, right? Now this one needs fuel badly. Let's keep the fuel in the utility trailer. So let's change back. We got a lot of fuel here. <clears throat> Whoop, camera, funky camera. There we go. Really, these trucks barely scratch the surface there. It's basically, we just spent like 20% of our fuel in this cistern, large cistern, so we're good. Alright, like I said, I want to move this up to the road for future logistical operations. Oops. Um, well, I think we can actually cut through the woods. It's just, uh, I can actually see the road from here, so yeah, we're going to just cut through the woods. Some wheel spin on the right side, which seems odd because it seems like we're on concrete, but now the trailer's in the mud, so we're losing traction on the concrete.
this kind of demonstrates that really differential locks on axles is almost more important than more ax more driving axles because an open drive axle is only really one powered wheel um, so if you just keep adding axles drive axles which adds weight a lot of weight when really you could just put a diff lock in your one drive axle you you double your powered wheels and add almost no weight at all so diff locks are really ultimately more important to have than sorry gonna turn as far as traction goes than more axles i mean that's why really if you have a two-wheel drive truck with a good diff lock uh, not just a positive traction those are kind of shit for off-road um, i mean some of them are okay for front axle use uh, where you don't a lot of times you don't really want a true locker in your front axle uh, due to turning uh, under power um, you know if you had a, a rear a two-wheel drive truck with a true locker uh, like a Detroit locker which is probably the best there is uh, as far as durability and ability well, I just turned off all my traction moves. I love the sounds and I love the uh, heat haze and the smoke effects are probably some of the best I've ever seen uh oh that's a little steep I'm gonna be more positive now I think I've done enough ranting in my last few videos so we're gonna be positive And now I'm super psyched because I just read about, I uh, read all the, oh, that gun. all the, uh, change logs for the real mod, and I am super stoked to try that out. Um, I do think, there you go, man. I do think that Maverick SU35, I think it's full name username on the UV forums, on the English UV forums, uh, has a better approach to the mud problem than just making the mud grippier, I think is what, uh, is a pressure line, I think, that's doing real mod. Let me check that real quick. Hold on. Yep, definitely, uh, it's pressure line, one of the moderators. Um, I think Maverick has a better approach to how to fix the mud. But a, lo a lot of the other... I wish I could... I'm, and, I, and because they're both just tweaking stock game files for the most part. Well, Pressure Line does, and like I think Change 3 and 4, he does start adding actual mods into his package. Uh, I think tires are one, and maybe some add-ons, vehicle add-ons. I do feel that... Uh, Baby, power through, power through. And the invincible Maz. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Nope. <laughs> See, diff lock. Boom. Now we have four drive wheels on two axles. Booking it. Booking it. I didn't set a waypoint, so I may have gone further than I wanted to. That could have been bad. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's check the map. 
And see, I kind of wish there was a map follow point. Uh, we do have... I forgot we left the UAZ in a puddle of water practically destroyed. Mm. Okay, so it's time to leave our mobile fuel or fuel base. And go back to... Ooh-wee! Uh, that's a lot of damage. So we're going to basically use all of the repair points in the utility trailer to repair these two trucks. That's basically what's about to happen. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, do I really even want to keep this? Um, oh, actually, there's a good... I can just go down the road and cut across here. That should be a pretty, pretty quick trip, actually. So we'll see if we can make it with this trailer. If not, then we'll take the other truck or drop the trailer. Because we can pick another one up at the garage once we get there. But see, I think, you know, if you drop a trailer, that should cost you, right? You shouldn't be able to just litter the map with trailers. Um, you know, if I drop this trailer, it should cost me to get another one, but... Uh, maybe somebody's working on that, or maybe I can start... Break into programming. I don't know. Try to figure it out. Uh, so, pressure line. Yeah, real mod. Um... There's a lot of other changes he has done in his his mod package that I think are awesome. Um, he makes the night darker, you know, so you have to use your headlights. Um, he, the, you know, all these trees I've been complaining about, he doesn't remove them from the game, but he makes it a lot easier to push them out of your way. So they're still there, but they're not quite as frustrating, I hope. Um, now we've only got highway tires here, which would still be all-terrain tires by looking at them anywhere else in the world, but in Russia these are highway tires. All-terrain tires are considered highway tires in Mother Russia. Um, now see, if this was Plains map, we never would have dug out of that mud. The mud would have continued on the road forever, and we never would have got out of it. So that's the issue with the planes map. I just lost my momentum, but no, we don't want to turn off yet. We want to turn off. Actually, yeah, where the where the other truck is. Although this could prove quite challenging. If you can see my cursor, uh, it could prove quite challenging with this long trailer. Just gonna start with a diff on. Whoop! Can't do that. He also, uh, a lot of people complain about the depth of field, how the front of the truck right now is blurry, because technically it's out of focus, and, and you know, in a cinematic way, that is not in focus. A lot of people complain about that. He's turned that off. Um, all the little twigs that are coming up here on the left, those will break if enough for when enough force is applied. Uh, they'll just break and shatter. Uh, be removed from the game, uh, apparently. Which I think they can that can be done now, but I guess he maybe he lowered the required force factor. Um, 
and the fallen trees will move, at least rotate, and be, be able to be pushed out of your way a lot easier. Um, now, he did some things that kind of made sense to the vehicles, like made more tire options available. Um, you know, which does kind of make sense on some of the trucks. He adjusted the gears, so now some of the trucks have five-speed transmissions where they only had four or maybe even three. And, oh, I didn't realize this was going to be... Oh, that, oh, that's right. This is a really nasty... Go, go, go! This is a really nasty... Uh, there's no way. Thank you. I was about to say, there's no way I'm going to get diff damage up here. Come on, you old, old, rusty, trusty, trusty, rusty. Oh, we're still moving. We are still moving, and we're starting to dig. Uh, we may have hit. Ah, all right. Uh, let's see if we can get a winch point going. Probably not. <laughs> oh, hey, yes we can. Awesome. All right. So now the problem is I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> so all right, now I have to use my left hand on the winch button, my right forefinger on the steering joystick, and that's not my index finger. What finger is that? I don't know. Whatever's next to the pinky, that finger. That I don't think there's even a name for it. I'm just kidding. Uh, but I have to use that now on my throttle. So I'm using three, two hands and three fingers to do this. Oh, we're, we're, ooh, this is not. No, that's not good either. Because now the problem is our angle is entirely too steep. See that angle on the trailer? That's you don't want that. It's not good. So now we probably need to winch directly over here on one of these fallen trees. That don't get me started. Now see, I'm actually leaving the parking brake. This is probably the first time I've ever made this, I've ever used this technique, but it's kind of what I need to do. I don't want to really try to move forward. I want to pivot uh, over the axles and get the front of the truck moved to the right. So I'm leaving the parking brake on so the rear tires don't do anything, but the front axle will help pull me to the right. Ooh, ooh. There we go. See, that's actually now I'll take the parking brake off. Brakes. Now <laughs> we face the problem of there's probably nothing in front of us. Damn it. Come on. Oh dear. Now there's nothing in front of us. Yep. Hopefully this baby sapling is pretty strong. I guess the trees are stronger in Russia than everywhere else. Oops. See, I hate having to get over one of these trees because you never know what kind of chaos is going to ensue. D-pad camera is much more controlled. Ah, phew, made it just far enough. Just far enough. And we'll go three fingers again. Oh, headlights. Let's see, we need realism here. 
Side marker lights look good. All right, should be. As long as you don't get stuck on a rock. Should set waypoints. Yeah, we do. We want to go up here. Not there. We want to go up here. To here. So, yeah, a little tricky. Uh, I, was, uh, I was afraid. I was trying not to go full throttle, but then the front front axle finally hit a deep spot. Oh, oh crap! But there should be trees, right? Should be trees. Ooh, uh, no, they're kind of far away. <laughs> I think they've def they have increased the winch distance from the stock game. The stock game, it's felt from what I remember, or not the stock game, the. Uh, Beta, alpha, early access, whatever. It really felt like half this distance from what I remember. I mean, it was really short. That is not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do either. All right, come on. Ah, camera, camera. Yes, this camera does get. There we go. Come on, back down, back down. Ah, shoot. Okay. And we'll get to the garage and call it an episode because I forgot to set my timer again. Axle trying to find some new grip. It's working for the front axle. Oh, problem is now we got a rock under the front axle. That's not gonna work. Now, one thing I think, yeah, see, that's the one problem with when you have a trailer, you lose the rear winch point on the truck, and then you have to winch from the trailer. <sighs> Which I mean, I guess you could have a trailer with a winch on it, um, but you wouldn't just lose the winch point on the rear of the truck. It would be very difficult to use, so I can't really use my little cheat because uh, it doesn't work so much with a trailer when you have a pivot point between you and the rear winch point. You can't really use my little tricks with the rear winch point like that. Nope. Sorry, three fingers here. Hopefully, eventually, we can stop winching, just constant winching. That would be nice. Pretty sure the little rocks crumbling is new. 
Well, not new new, but like, that was not in the beta. This is not very exciting gameplay, is it? Maybe we'll fast forward through some of this. Maybe out of winch points. Useful winch points. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That just is going to make us go across the muddy road. Maybe we should get back, back on the shoulder. You know what, we're not even going to bother. Just going to go ahead and keep keep winching. Now we might be able to get a run on things here. And actually, I'm supposed to be going... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, guys! What did I do? Oh no. That was... I'm supposed to be going that way. Oh, dear. That's alright. That's alright. We're gonna... Get up some momentum. We're just gonna cross this road. Run over these trees and get back on track. What, what, what did we just hit? What the hell? Do not tell me. Is it really that little tree? Come on. Oh, there are trees on the ground. You see those? I think it's this little dead sapling is screwing us up. Oh, there we go. Yep. That was kind of silly. Oh, let me look where I'm going. Our friend, the tree, the fallen freaking tree. Okay, the garage is right there. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna spare you guys the rest of this agony, and we'll we'll catch up to you when we're at the garage. <laughs>